So in this video, I'm going to show how to connect TikTok to make.com. As for now, make does not have built-in TikTok upload module. So we have to go around this. I'm going to use app called Buffer, but also in make you can't upload straight away to the buffer. So we have to go around this one too. So instead, main upload will be through the Zapier. I made here a completely new account. Trigger will be here in make, so everything for you is in one place, but then it goes to Zapier, and only then from Zapier it goes to the buffer. And from buffer it goes to TikTok. And to do that we need to add an Excel file, or if you're using Google, then the Google Sheet, in our drive. I'm going to create new file, and here in new file I'm going to create new columns. For example, first one will be date, which is not necessary, but it keeps everything in order. Second one important is URL. And third one is title. Second thing to do is go back to make and add new module, which is in my case, Microsoft Excel. And here I need add a worksheet row. I'm leaving the method and my drive same and only choosing the location of my new created file. Here I have location and now sheet itself. As I have only one worksheet that I just created. And now what values we need is only values. And as you can see, it loaded. So for date, I'm, for example, I'm going to use created date time. As I said, it's not so much important, but important is URL. And you need download URL from the first module. If you haven't seen my other videos, how to build this scenario, then I recommend to watch. And for the title, you can use AI generated results. It also keeps everything in order and you need it to upload to TikTok and click save. And now we can go to Zapier. Let's create new Zap. This is a completely fresh new account. so. Everything will be done from scratch. We need here Microsoft Excel. And first thing you need to do is choose an event, which is new row. It triggers when a new row is added to a worksheet in a spreadsheet, which means if in make automation is adding new row, it's giving us URL we need, then here it triggers. Let's make a connection. So now I have a connection. Continue. Storage source, same folder is the one that is same in make, spreadsheet, the one we just created, and worksheet, it only has one, so sheet one. Continue. Now it will test a trigger. Let's check it out. Or actually, it right now, it doesn't show us the, the names we just added. So let's run it one more in make. I'm going to unlink right now everything else, as I don't want anything else. And let's run it once. So, as we can see, it did something. Let's update. Here it is. Date, URL and title. Good. Now we have all the stuff. Let's press test trigger. And as you can see, original record pulled. And let's take this row A and continue with selected method. And now we need a second one, which I told before, which is buffer. And let's make a buffer event, which is add Q, Q -O -U, this English word, and let's connect with buffer account. Allow access and continue. Here it gives automatically you my organization name, it doesn't matter, let's choose it. Tags are not important, channel is important. So right now we don't have channel, let's go to buffer and add new channel. What we need is TikTok. And now let's finish connection. So now our TikTok is connected, we have now connection. Let's go back to Zapier, let's choose channel, refresh results, and now we have TikTok. Right now it's not showing the title, so let's go back to Excel. Let's test one more time trigger. All 
Okay, so yes, you still needed to run trigger one more time as to get results from the make gen generations and continue with selected record. Now it will give us text that we need. As you can see, URL, date and title, we need title. And let's continue to video and video is our URL. And what we need here is to change it to schedule. And what I recommend to do with schedule date and time is to schedule it one minute after uploading because Zapier needs time to see this URL, to process with it and then only upload to buffer. So it needs a bit time. So just in case I'm going to add one minute and let's continue and test step. And now we can see that test is successful. A update was sent to buffer about zero seconds ago. So it's now done, publish and will now publish this Zapier. So as now you can see, video is uploaded to this TikTok account. It will need some time as it was one minute after upload. And now if we go to TikTok, we can see it there. So this is how you make a connection to TikTok and upload there. Like I said, it is going a bit around, not straightforward, but it still works and it's still easier to do it automatically. If you haven't seen my another video, how to make automation like this, I recommend watching because if you haven't done make automations before, this is pretty helpful for you.